Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the Piano One Virtual Instrument Plugin in Reaper. I want to show you my favorite free piano plugin called Piano One or Neo Piano by Sound Magic. So if we search Piano One, we should get to this website. And we can click down here to go to the downloading page. And that'll take us here, where we can subscribe to the newsletter to get the download. And then if we wait, we should get an email that looks something like this. And we can download the file right here. Then if we go to our hard drive, where we downloaded it, it should have downloaded this file. And if we expand it, we should get this folder, double click it, and here are the installers for Mac and Windows. And if we go back out, keep this folder in mind. Sample set and the file piano1.ins. We might need to refer to this a bit later. So now we can open up Reaper. Let's go over here and right click. Insert virtual instrument on new track, which opens up the effects browser. Go to instruments and choose Neo Piano, Piano One. Now it might be named a bit different for you, maybe just Piano One. Either way, it should be in this folder. Double click it, and that's going to create a new track over here, set up to be MIDI, and then record, and this plugin already on it. Now, right over here, we can see that the instrument isn't loaded. It might be for you, but if it's not, just click over here and go to that folder I mentioned. Sample set and choose piano1.ins. Double click it. That's going to load the piano samples into this plugin. Now, to avoid this in the future, either save it as an effects chain or my preferred way as a track template. Just right click over here. Save tracks as track template, give it a name, save it. And now, if we want to add piano to our project, just right click over here, insert track from template, and choose it right here, piano one. And that should open it up with those piano samples in here. So let's go through this a bit. Now, most of it is pretty simple as it really just has one sound, a piano. And most of it is pretty obvious. We can adjust the harmonics for gain and shift, change the tone, the perspective between player and audience, adjust some noises, the style, Choose some presets over here, dampening, resonance. But the main things I usually change or adjust are the reverb, because it starts out completely dry. I like to add some right here. And we can adjust how much, the time, the width, and so on. But I also like to change the dynamics over here. It's set to linear, and for my MIDI keyboard, it tends to play a bit loud. So if I hit it soft or hard, it's not that much of a difference. So I like to change it to exponential right here, although we could choose any of the curves you prefer. But with this one, it tends to be more dynamic. Rather than go through every parameter in this plugin, let's review the previous videos and make a musical part using all of them. Let's delete this track. I'm going to right click over here. As I already saved a track template for Satala and the other virtual instruments right here. Let's choose Satala. Let's create a loop from bar two to bar six. 
turn on looping right here, and let's record a drum part. And it's already set up to quantize right here and MIDI overdub right here. So I'm going to record this drum part in three different passes. Kick and snare, claps, and hi-hat. Like this. Now let's add another track. Right click, insert track from template, and this time we'll choose Spitfire Audio Lamps. And again, it's all set up the same way. Let's change the preset. Right here, let's go down to tuned percussion, and let's choose the handbells. And now let's record that part. And now let's record another sound using complete control, which opens up with this plugin open. And let's choose a bass sound right here. Let's choose analog. And let's find the sound animate. Double click it. And let's use this as a bass. And then finally, based on this video, let's add a few piano parts. Right click, insert track from template, and now we'll choose Piano 1, which opens up the Piano 1 plugin. Now we didn't save it with the reverb and the key dynamics changed. So let's change that now. Switch this to record MIDI overdub. And let's quantize on the way in with 16th notes. And because we're in MIDI overdub, we can play multiple piano parts on top of each other, starting with some chords, then some stabs, and then finally a melody. Let's give it a shot. So just like that, we layered each virtual instrument plugin on top of each other. Starting with Satawa, the Spitfire Audio Labs, Complete Control, and then finally the Piano One plugin. So that's pretty much it. That's the Piano One virtual instrument plugin in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.
Oh!